Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you about setting up tax on your Magento store. And first, before we get into this, I just wanted to point out, uh, we make all these videos at Level Up Tuts sort of on our spare time. Ben and I, uh, we really just do it just so the community can have some good documentation, some good uh, visual tutorials. So, um, there's by by all means there's no obligations but if you feel like you've gotten a lot out of these tutorials and you you know you want to give something back we do have a donation button on our site leveluptouch.com it's right here um one thing i should point out is this site is not really done at all in fact we've been spending so much time on other stuff we haven't put any time into the site so you know you can go around the site but it's not really worth it right now so um just we just have it up so you know there's something so you know, if you want to donate, feel free to click the donate button and help out. If not, no big deal. We're not expecting it. We're not doing this for the donations or anything. Uh, and we're going to keep bringing as many tutorials as we can possible without donations, regardless. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is we're going to go to configuration, just like usual almost. And we're going to come down here, and it's right by your shipping stuff. It's tax. And so you can set up different tax classes. Um, and so tax for shipping is set to none. And this is something I think you're going to have to just know if you're, um, if your company does tax on shipping, then you're gonna want this to be set up to be a certain tax class. But we just want this to be none, okay? And calculation settings. So this is going to say your tax calculation method is based on the total, which is pretty standard, which is why it's all filled out. In fact, a lot of this stuff that's filled out, you won't need to change unless you have very specific and particular um, tax situations for your company. Um, you might not have to change a whole lot here. So total, yeah, tax calculation method is based on the total. Um, tax calculation is based on the shipping address. Um, you could also have it be the billing address, but like I said, shipping addresses by default, and you, you should know uh, how your company is planning on taxing uh, who's purchasing. Again, you could say by the billing address if you wanted to, but you know, shipping address is, is fine for this, for this purpose. And so catalog prices are going to be excluding price. So if you check including price, that means all of your catalog prices that you've entered by the admin already include tax. So it's gonna do that calculation for you. Uh, to do it a little bit easier, I think it's easier to just have your products be without tax and let Magento calculate the tax for you. Um, you know, that's just a personal thing and notice it's by default, so it's probably what most people are going to want. Um, and so this is whether the shipping amounts entered by admin or obtained from gateway include tax. So like we said, we have no tax class for shipping anyway, so we're just say excluding tax, um, no big deal. Uh, like I said for the other one before, it's default for a reason. Um, apply tax, apply customer tax. Um, so this is if you wanna have before discount or after discount, it's pretty standard to do before, let's say they have a coupon or something, it's going in uh, in that that um, the coupon is taking the value up before the tax is added up, which I would assume is how most people coming to your site would expect it to work. Apply discount on prices, excluding tax. So this is just saying if the uh, discounted price is including tax is calculated based on the store tax. I mean, like I said, if you have this selected, then didn't worry about it. Um, apply tax on custom price if available, original price only. You know, if you have the product marks down, marked down as like a custom price, you're gonna want the tax on that. Uh, so I would leave this as custom price. But the great thing is, is Magento gives you the options to change anything, any of these things if you, you know, feel so, if you feel the need to, or if that's how your company works. So your default tax destination calculation. So if you are, um, Let's say you're a company based out of Michigan. Um, that's where I'm based out of. If you want to only tax people um, who are buying things and shipping it to Michigan, sales tax, because that's all your, you know, uh, that's all you have to tax, then the origin state is going to be Michigan, and the default postal code is this asterisk, which is just a wild card. You can, I mean, this just means Michigan. You can have this be a, a, a zip code if, or a postal code if you want, but. Uh, I'm going to leave it as the wild card, okay? Price display settings. This is if you want your prices to physically show with the text on your site. So if you're visiting the site, you know, you have the the price value that will be including tax. It's a little bit different from this if you're entering taxes 
uh, if you're entering your price with the text. This is just how it's displaying. So we're, we want this to be excluding text because like most stores, you know, I think that's what your customers would expect to see. And then, okay, so shopping cart display settings. Um, so display prices, excluding tax. Display subtotal, excluding tax. Display shipping amount, excluding tax. Um, and this way, it will separate it out, and then it will have, um, so you can include tax and grand total. Uh, actually, when I have this to be yes. Um, like I said, these things are all sort of personal preference. It's how your store is working. Uh, I, I would like the tax included in the grand total so that people can see what the final amount is before they hit go and that's including tax. So if you want them to have a full tax summary, yeah, this will show the tax for shipping, the tax for you know the goods, everything. And um, display a zero tax subtotal. No, I don't think you need to do that. So um, one more thing, we have orders, invoices, credit memos. We want them, I would probably have this to be the same thing. We want them to see the tax summary. We want them to see the tax, the final price, and the grand total. Um, but like I said, you can configure it differently. And fixed product tax. Um, fixed product tax involves a little bit more configuration. If you include this or enable this, this is basically a way to say that this particular type of product is always going to have a fixed tax. So if your region has a fixed product tax for a certain type of product, you can look into setting this up. Basically, if you turn this on, you're going to have to add an attribute. There's a little bit more of a process for it, which we'll probably get into in a later tutorial if there's the need for it. Um, it's a pretty particular case. If you want fixed product tax, uh, I think that's a little bit outside of this tutorial itself, but we'll go over that at a later date. So this is really the basics to set up tax. And um, after you have everything filled in here, your default state and everything, your tax should be completely configured. So now that we have that all configured, let's go to our sales tax, and we're going to set up our tax zones. So we're going to go to tax zones and rates, and this is who you're taxing. Looks like by default they have the tax rate for New York and California in here. I'm going to add a new one, and this is going to be for Michigan. So I'm just going to have MI state Michigan. Uh, zip post is in range, no. Uh, we just have an asterisk here that's saying um, any zip code. And the percent here is 6%, so we're just going to do 6 even like that. And, uh, you know, we don't need to have any different titles here, so we're just going to have this be empty. So now we have just Michigan. Um, you can get more specific with it here, but and you can set up as many as you want, but this is just Michigan. So next we're going to uh, change our tax rules and you can have different products be set to different things um, I'm going to because this is default uh, I'll set default to Michigan and I'm going to set uh, just this one to Michigan as well this taxable goods because if we go to our products manage products uh, they're going to be set to different things so let's click here and if you're doing this all from yourself you know from the start without this um, additional info brought in then you won't really have to worry about this. But um, so this one it has so this test album that we made before it has no tax class. Um, so, but if you notice here, there's default taxable goods and shipping. Well, we just edited taxable goods for Michigan, right? So let's save this. And now this is going to have the Michigan rate that we just saved. We just had. We can go edit something else too. Let's say um, let's add something that we can buy it later. So this HTC Diamond, Touch Diamond, um, it has a tax class of taxable goods, so we should be all set to buy that to try it out. Um, and also under Sales Tax, you'll notice you can import and export tax rates, um, customer tax classes, product tax classes. Uh, really the only things you'll need to set it up is really just right in here. If you want to import a rate, uh, I would recommend exporting first. If you export this CSV, you can edit, modify it, and then re-upload it with the values that you need. And what that's going to do is it's going to create all this stuff in here so you don't have to do it through Magento's interface. It's a nice way. In fact, we'll be doing a lot more importing and exporting later when we get into importing and exporting products. Um, so um, also under tax, there's customer tax class, retail customer. Uh, if you're doing like wholesale and have different tax rates or something, uh, everybody's going to be retail on this site, so we're not going to modify that. And under product tax classes, um, you saw this before, we have default shipping taxable goods. These are our actual tax classes themselves, um, and just 
Uh, there's no editing in here that you really have to do. Okay, so it looks like um, it's telling me that I got to flush my cache, so I'm gonna click and do that really quick. And then we're going to add that HTC Diamond Touch to our cart, and we're gonna see that it has tax applied. So I'm gonna add this HTC to my cart, and I'm gonna put in, oh, it actually already has my information here. Uh, so estimate shipping cost, you can get a quote. And since I have it selected to show the tax, if you notice here, it has tax is $45 on this. If you click to expand, um, it shows the de the like the information, so Michigan 6%. Um, so now if we proceed to check out, blah, 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 it's going to have all that information. But luckily, it gives the customer a little breakdown so they know exactly what they're paying and why they're paying it. Okay, so that is the tax section under configuration in Magento. If you have any questions or comments, hit us up at, uh, you know, in the comments or at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. You can hit me up at Twitter at S. Tolinsky if you want, you know, just say uh, stuff that you're interested in seeing. You know, some people send us out tweets saying they want to see this or that. And we, we read everything. We take it into account. And um, even though we have lots of tutorials we want to get done, it does go on the list. And so we want to teach you what you want to learn and what you want to see. Okay? So as always, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.